I imagine you can hear some of these colored remarks. <laughs> Just as well as we can uh, drink here. He's got me thumb! <laughs> <laughs> the kill it dodge with a minute left in round two. And Sally caught up in it again. Kill it right down there, sitting on the bottom rope. Right, get up! I'll kill it! Just five seconds. Colin <laughs> <laughs> still hasn't heard the bell. You'll notice something about Les Kellett, and that is that uh, sometimes you, he hears the bell very, very clearly indeed. When he's at the wrong end of a, a hole that he doesn't like, he hears the bell very clearly. Seconds out, round three. Round three, four to go. Two falls to decide this. One public warning against Stewart, the Leotard, against Les Kellett. Man Sully, the referee, not sure how to handle this part at all. He's, uh, he's laughing most of the time, and who wouldn't have cut it next to you? It's the left hand is the one to watch for Stewart's. One public warning five, against him already. Two, four, three, four, five, six, eight. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, always worries me when Kellett takes a posting, especially when he just uh, put his hand on the small of his back just now, as if he was feeling a bit of pain there. This is the man who's had three. Three really long and uh, severe operations on that uh, back of it. When he takes a posting like that, or a backdrop from a height, can't do it any good. Oh, 
<laughs> no question about that. Fist all the way. The referee allowing it. Simply because he thinks it's about time Stuart deserved a little retaliation. And it says, oh, anytime you want to box me, that's all right with me. <laughs> yes, the referee not sure about that one. He was blindsided. <laughs> <laughs> He's just innocently asking the ref well, what is allowed. Me, no, <laughs> doing it to me. Still worried about that back, Kellett. And after a post attack, like he took why not. That follow up far, far too late. Less than a minute now in round three. And the kick quite unnecessary. I'm surprised he doesn't get a second public warning for that. Thirty seconds. Back elbow and a Drag it up. Break. Put on the roll. Also on the bell. So uh, Kellett has got to be going on for quite a long time, pretending he can't hear the bell. I think he finds that a good gimmick. But, of course, he only uses it when he is in the, uh, not in a good position. When he's got the advantage, he doesn't want to hear this bell at all. He goes, continues with the advantage. Stewart, Mel Stewart, from uh, Maidstone. The speciality is the forearm smash or forearm uppercut, which he's seen him try quite a few times so far. Second jump, round four. Three rounds to go. Mel Stewart, this big boy with the um, leotard, won't talk about himself too much. Very difficult to find out much from him in the dressing room. He just says nothing to tell. So still no score. Public warning to Stewart. And three to go. Two falls to this either one. Goodbye. Yes, there's the forearm uppercut. It's pretty effective. And, oh, how has he fallen out there? Oh, back. He's got back trouble now. He fell against the chair. He might not even make it back. Eight, nine, he's gone. And Kellett's trouble with his back over this side here. So both of them have got back trouble now. One minute into round four. And the bout's all over with a knockout. Win the Kellett. John Harris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with Stewart failing to beat the count, the winner on a knockout, Les Kellett.
Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for Mel Stewart. <laughs>